SAS self-promotes as one of the few shooting organizations that actively supports family participation. At many matches, you will find wives shooting with their husbands, children shooting with their parents, and even some children shooting with their grandparents. We're talking about the youngest of SASH shooters here on the firing line. The bulk of competitors at any given SAS match will be competing in an age-based category. These age-based categories are the least restrictive and cover shooters from the youngest to the oldest. We have another video covering the basics of the age-based categories with a link below in the description. While we covered most of the age-based categories, there is one age-based category that we left out, covering our youngest shooters. We must remember that special consideration must be made with regard to local laws, regulations, and insurance requirements that may prevent participants under the age of 14. However, where allowed, the buckaroo and buckarette categories are specifically designed for shooters 13 years and younger. While the rules for clothing and shooting styles are the same for all age-based categories, the categories set aside for our youngest competitors have some special rules and considerations. In addition to the basic firearm restrictions that all competitors in the age-based categories must follow, competitors in the buckaroo and buckered categories have a couple additional options for firearm chamberings. Buckaroo and buckered competitors are still required to use revolvers, rifles, and shotguns that meet the external standards. However, pistols and rifles may be chambered in 22 long rifle. There are many options for 22 lever guns. Of special note, the Browning BL-22 in 22 caliber is also a legal rifle for these categories. Additionally, buckaroo and buckarets may utilize shotguns chambered in 410 caliber or 28 or 32 gauge. While these additional firearm choices are permitted for buckaroo and buckarets, it does not mean that they must shoot rimfire ammunition and smaller gauge shotguns. Many buckaroo and buckarets start off shooting the same 38 special and 12 gauge setups that us older cowboys enjoy. They can also split their setups, shooting 22 caliber pistols and 38 caliber rifles. A factor that is often forgotten when talking about firearms for buckaroo and buckaret participants is long gun fit. For their safety and enjoyment, it is imperative to provide youth shooters with a long gun that fits properly. You may find it necessary to make a trip to your local gunsmith to have stocks shortened in order for them to be able to safely and effectively mount their long guns. When utilizing firearms chambered for 22 rimfire, standard velocity ammunition must be used. Additionally, it is important to note that if a buckaroo or buckaret chooses to shoot center fire pistol or rifle ammunition, they are still required to meet all center fire power factor and velocity requirements. Buckaroo and buckaret shooters are allowed some special dispensation when dealing with knockdown and aerial targets. For instance, knockdown targets are not required to fall for competitors in the buckaroo or buckaret categories. A hit will be scored as long as the target is hit. Please note that our rules clearly state that the shooter is still required to hit the target. It is not enough for the shooter to simply expend the round down range when the target is clearly missed. Additionally, some buckaroo and buckaret shooters may prefer to engage the knockdowns until down, just like the older cowboys. And that's okay too. For folks setting up matches when utilizing aerial shotgun targets, alternative targets must be provided for all shooters in the buckaroo and buckaret categories. Several years ago, SAS made a clarification on the eligibility for shooters in the buckaroo and buckaret categories to win overall match titles. It was determined that a buckaroo or buckaret shooter could compete 
for a match overall title as long as they shoot the same match as everyone else. What does that mean? At the SAS championship level, when competing in the Buckaroo or Buckaroo category, if the shooter chooses to compete for an overall match title, they must comply with all the stricter regulations placed on the age-based categories. If the Buckaroo and Buckaroo chooses to compete in the overall title, the shooter must inform match officials and shoot the match accordingly. If the stage or scenario calls for a knockdown, the target must be down to count. Aerial targets must be engaged. Reloads taken at the line and on and on. Additionally, they are required to shoot center fire ammunition and main match legal shotguns meeting the requirements for the older age-based categories. Cowboy action shooting is a fun, challenging, and entertaining way to spend a day or a weekend. I treasure the memories of watching my son grow up from his first round shot in practice with a Henry 22 to his first match as a buckaroo to our continued adventures today. So whether it's your son, daughter, or grandchild wanting to head with you to the range, I hope I have the chance to see all y'all somewhere soon on the firing line.